Hey guys, this is Aaron Gall from E-Tech Equine Detailing and we are here with our video series. We're going to put a uh, triangle on Chuck's tail here and do underneath his tail. I've got it neatly tied up. My blades are oiled, wiped clean. Take a step back to turn my clippers on. I'm working around behind him with the horse, so I'm going to watch those hind legs. I want to get Chuck to stand, sorry Kristen, as square as possible for this. All right. Couple ways to do it. I can lift his tail, and as you lift his tail, there's kind of a natural groove that goes. So you just lift his tail up, and then go ahead and follow that natural groove on one side. Lift his tail, follow the natural groove on the other side. I'm going to double check to make sure that I'm straight on his spine, and that it's coming straight down here. So I'm actually off just a little. I'm going to do just a little bit there. And now it's nice and straight. You get kind of a diamond effect there. All right, pretty simple. Same thing that we talked about with the main line. If you're worried about it, uh, start large. Make, make a big V. All right, and then keep whittling it down until you're comfortable doing that. Next is under here. I'm just going to grab hold of his tail and move it to the side. I've got it tied up. So very often, we see horses that sometimes are even super nicely clipped, and then they switch their tail, and you realize that they didn't get their bums. Got to have a nice clean bum. Again, standing off to the side here. I'm going to try to stand directly behind trunk, chunk as little as possible, so that I don't get kicked. We're not pressing hard. Clippers are very lightly in my hand. They're just resting in my hands. And I'm going multiple directions. There's a good spot. You can see where I clipped it, but it's not done. That's a good example of why you have to go second direction. And now it's perfect. Uh, this is a spot too, the top of his rump, that um, many of us don't groom very well and don't bathe very well. The hair up here is denser and coarser as a general rule, so you're already having to go through thicker hair. Um, and a lot of times I get freshly bathed horses uh, who are super dirty, which is this pocket of dirt sitting up here. So when you're grooming, bathing, um, at any time, but for sure before you clip, but always really make sure that you're really uh, grooming well up here. And that's where a vacuum really helps as well. Vacuums really get down to the, to the skin. So this pony was not only bathed for me the day before, but then this morning he was groomed and he was vacuumed. So I have no problem getting through any of the hair.